Next on Unity Live at GDC, it's Magic Leap. And we are back at Unity Live at GDC. Ria Karef, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, from Magic Leap. Finally, you're here to tell us all about Magic Leap. Right? Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, you just announced Magic Leap 1 late last year. Um, you're here at GDC. Um, obviously, we saw some of the collaboration between us and yourself um, at our keynote yesterday. Um, you know, what, what is, what's this journey been like? Obviously, it's been a long time coming. Everyone's really excited about Magic Leap. How's it been for you? Yeah, it's a great question. Thank you. And first of all, thank you again for having me. Uh, you know, it's been a it's been a wild ride. You know, um, there's no doubt. Uh, but when you're when you're trying to figure out what comes next, you know, how do we how do we give everybody on the planet superpowers? How do we uh, kind of activate your inner ten year old? You know, how do we uh, make you feel like you have X ray vision? You know, and that you're you're just smarter about the world and more connected to your friends and family. Uh, for us, it's about uh, kind of reinventing computing by making it more personal. Right? Okay. It's not about um, you know, uh, something in my pocket or something on my desk. It's about kind of amplifying the human spirit or just generally, um, you know, uh, seamlessly making, um, the, you know, the, the human condition amplified through, through computing. So for us, we call that spatial computing. It's about really how we seamlessly and persistently integrate uh, the physical world, the digital world, all into a new place that's your new real world. Okay, so you're kind of taking things beyond what people would, would refer to as like augmented reality, that kind of realm of things into spatial computing. Yeah, it's really about context and it's about um, kind of the unimpeachable presence of the analog and physical world, right? Mm -hmm. It's not about trying to disconnect or divorce you from the world, it's about bringing you closer to the world, making you the atoms, right, that surround you, uh, really enhanced by the power of bits in the digital world. So um, I want to be closer to my friends and family. I want to be more productive at work. I want to be smarter about the world. I want to be more entertained. I want to be more informed, right? Um, I don't want to be disconnected. I want to be connected. Um, but I want to take the digital world and the physical world and seamlessly and persistently integrate them. So we call that spatial computing. So I am someone who wants all of those things that you just said <laughs> <laughs> because they sound awesome. So, like, how do I get started with Magic Leap? Like, if I'm if I'm a Unity developer, like all of the people who are probably watching this right now, what's the first step? Yeah, again, a great question. Uh, this week we've launched our creator portal, creator.magicleap.com, which is really all about how you can begin your journey cool. uh, as a creator. You know, as a Unity developer, uh, you know, we've got the perfect road for you. Um, you can download the technical preview of our SDK and our tools. Mm -hmm. um, you can access uh, Magic Leap optimized versions uh, of Unity. Um, you can get access to a lot of tutorials, documentation, learning resources, uh, community support forums, uh, really just the, the largest um, kind of uh, collection of information about how to build for Magic Leap mm -hmm. and what is Magic Leap um, that we've ever released. Cool. And so you're here at GDC. So where can we find you? Where can our developers come and find you and talk more about this? Right. Uh, well, th I think the best uh, path is to get registered as a developer at, at our at our creator portal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have uh, a lot of folks around at GDC with Magic Leap pins uh, that they're wearing. Um, and, uh, and we are meeting with developers and partners, and we are working to kind of show them what's possible um, as we uh, work to ship and come to market this year in 2018. Cool. So if, if someone sees a, a Magic Leap person around with a pin on, they should tackle them and ask them all of these difficult questions <laughs> that I'm not allowed to ask you, right? <laughs> I wouldn't go so far as to say that, but... Uh, yeah. You know, in I a non-physical way, yeah, I mean, like yeah. metaphorically in a, in, a nice, in a nice way. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, for us, it's, it's about um, you know, we've had our heads down for so long trying to, um, you know, trying to make, uh, make this real, you know, mm -hmm. to make Magic Leap uh, 1 Creator Edition come to market. Um, but now is the time we, you know, we're turning to face our customer cool. and we're turning to embrace uh, the developer community. Um, you know, and it's hard to do that all at once, right? So for us, it's, a, it's about stages, phases, you know, one turn at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this week is a big turn for us with the launch of our creator portal and our presence at GDC. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have uh, nearly 100 folks here this week. Cool. And what's the next step from the developer portal? So, you know, the community will just smash the content out of the park. Like, what's next? They have apps. Where, where can they publish those apps? Where does it yeah. go next? Yeah, I mean, what's next is, um, 
is uh, we'll be rolling out um, our hardware, uh, Magic Leap One, either later this year, with a focus on creators and developers. Yeah. You know, for, for us, a developer is, of course, a creator. You know, is the, but a creator ultimately doesn't have to be a developer. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really that broad um, envelope of creativity of anybody who wants to kind of put their fingerprints on the world. Um, and, uh, and, and as a part of that, we're announcing Magic Leap World, which is really our marketplace for basically spatial computing experiences. Uh, for anybody who wants to uh, discover, um, you know, access, try, um, commercialize, sell, distribute, um, it's the kind of end-to-end -end place for all of that inside of Magic Leap. That's fantastic. That's really cool. And I think like, what, what I found really interesting about that is this, it's, it's, it's kind of similar, and we, we've seen these kind of things in the past with, with VR to some extent, but with, with spatial computing, like this idea that um, nobody really knows what the best experiences are yet. So there's like this huge like opportunity space. Like, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I think that's, that's exactly right. Um, you know, the, it's human nature to kind of project the past into the future, right? But, uh, and so that's completely normal and understandable. We did that with radio, we did that with television, you know, we did that with the early days of the web. Um, and only when you start to realize that and think about, you know, what could I do here that I could never have done before, mm -hmm. you know, uh, on any prior computing platform in any prior way. Um, what can I do, you know, when I start to think about, you know, anything I can ever imagine can be real. Um, you know, it's not, uh, it's not a function of being, you know, bound to a screen or trapped, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, space. in a space. It's yeah. about kind of amplifying your physical space, uh, enhancing your analog physical world, uh, and then connecting you to that world through a seamless and persistent integration of the digital world into the physical world. So, um, you know, that, that's really exciting to me, and it's, it's a brand mm -hmm. new space. So, uh, we're really just about, we're, we're at that dawn, you know, of something new, and it's about, it's all about tools and inspiration and support for developers and creators. Cool, so if someone uh, out there is, is eager to get started, they've got an idea or they think something that, you know, they've seen some of your, like, promotional material, um, is, is there an easy path from, from Unity into, into Magic Leap? What's the, what's, how does that work? Yeah, so, um, so through the Creator Portal, uh, they can, uh, we have getting started guides for Unity and, and Magic Leap with our, our Lumen SDK. Okay. Uh, and so it's, it's very easy. You know, anybody can, can, um, can download Unity this week, uh, download our SDK. Uh, anybody on the planet you know, can begin their journey and cool. start. We have uh, what we call Magic Leap Remote and Simulator. Uh, oh, cool. which is essentially a way to start uh, essentially approximating and previewing, you know, um, essentially uh, ideation and, um, and to start uh, without having the hardware, being able to start get a sense of what can I do and how yeah. does this work and what are the concepts uh, that I need to understand, um, how do I start um, figuring this out. Yep. Essentially, it's a precursor, right, to um, having hardware. There's no replacement yeah. uh, for what the hardware experience is, but it's really about getting started on the journey. You know, it's not about completing it. Cool. And so is that remote like an app or like how does it work? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a Mac and Windows application yep. that installs with our package manager and our SDK okay. uh, and it integrates with Unity. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. So if people want to get started, they're going to yeah, they creator.magicleap.com. That's right, our creator portal. Uh, it'll be on our homepage, magicleap.com, uh, or creator.magicleap.com, and they'll be able to register um, and become a developer, become a creator, and, uh, and start their journey right there. Sweet. This Rio, week. Yes. thank you for coming in. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It. A pleasure. Really I can't exciting. wait to see yes. what people create. Yeah, yes. super cool. On Unity. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> thank you. On Unity. Thank you.